I'm Storm Tracker ET meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Wednesday weather forecast. It's been rather quiet as of late across the Chippewa Valley, and those temperatures, after getting a little taste of fall last week, have been trending warmer the last few days. And today and even tomorrow, it is going to be warm and rather muggy too. Those highs are going to be in the upper 70s to those low to mid 80s. Even some spots today may be reaching the upper 80s. The dew points in the upper 50s to mid 60s, so a little sticky out there, but nothing too bad, at least at points we've seen over the summer when those dew points were a lot higher than that. Small rain chance on Thursday, and then we're still talking about rain chances heading into the weekend, so we'll have the latest on that here in just a second. But the rest of the day today looking really good. Mostly sunny sky. The winds again coming in out of the southeast, so that'll be bringing in those warmer temperatures and also those higher dew points as well. We're quiet into tonight. Just like this morning, we could be dealing with some areas of patchy fog once again, waking up tomorrow morning, so be aware of that on the morning commute. Into the afternoon hours, just a very isolated chance, as I mentioned, for a couple of scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two. The coverage tomorrow for rain is about 2 out of 10, so not everyone is going to see rain, and if it does rain, totals are likely going to be a tenth of an inch or less. Now, into Friday, we could have a slightly higher chance for showers and thunderstorms. The coverage looks to be a little bit better than Thursday at about a 3 out of 10, and that will continue even into Friday evening. And that should at least, you know, bode decently for any football games for high school. Some areas may see a little bit of rain, but most should be okay um, in terms of those Friday night lights. But let's take a look longer term because we've been talking about our chances for showers and storms the last few days heading into the weekend. And unfortunately, we have seen an abrupt shift a couple hundred miles to the west, that is, of our area of low pressure. So unfortunately, as you'll see here uh, with the European model, the rain chances for Saturday are now looking to be much further west. We still have it in the chance category, but we're going to watch trends and we may have to lower those rain chances for the day on Saturday. But Saturday night to Sunday, we still should at least see a chance for rain in the Chippewa Valley. So again, that area of low pressure on Sunday is going to be over to the west, but it'll be gradually kind of falling apart as it moves further to the east. And originally what we saw yesterday was one low coming from the south and then one to the northwest. And that's why that, that shield of rain was basically right over us, thus leading to those higher rain totals. But now with everything further west, Unfortunately, the rain totals have also shifted west as well, which you'll see here in a second. And here is the American model. And again, this one is still showing a little bit of rain, maybe clipping parts of the area Friday night. But the bulk of the rain looks to stay west of Highway 53 on Saturday, at least according to the GFS. And then into Sunday, we should at least see a little bit of rain moving in, continuing even into Sunday night as well. But again, with that um, shift westward, that means those rain totals you'll see here are going to be a lot less. If you remember yesterday, we were looking at anywhere from a half inch to an inch with some higher spots, seeing maybe one to two inches. Now we're looking at about a tenth to a half of an inch. So this is what happens when that storm system shifted further west. Now that's not to say it can't move back east again and the rain totals increase, but we're going to have to watch trends over the next couple of days or so. So again, the key takeaways, the rain chances are still there, but again, rain totals decreasing as the models have been shifting a little bit further to the west. The timing is it's pretty much nailed down Friday through Monday. The peak of it is going to be over the weekend. Looks like it'll be Sunday at this point in time. And we'll continue to have updates, of course, on air, online, on our social media pages, and on our Storm Tracker 18 uh, weather app as well. And again, we'll keep you updated uh, over the next few days with that. Also, too, it is going to be feeling a little bit sticky out there again today. Those dew points kind of hanging out in the uh, muggy category, dropping a little bit on Thursday, coming back up again Friday through the weekend, and then also kind of hanging out in the 50s to near 60 into Sunday and early next week. And another story, too, we'll be talking about is some breezy conditions. The winds could be uh, gusting up to about 30 miles per hour at times between Friday and and the early parts of next week. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s the next few days, falling into the 70s by Saturday, and then upper 60s and lower 70s Sunday through Tuesday.